Okay, Ryan, time to get rolling with this forecast. We've got some things to talk about. If you've been paying real close attention to the weather the last couple of days, perhaps you have heard that uh, there may be some gustier storms that can come rolling on through here late Wednesday night. And I'm talking towards midnight, probably thereafter, two, three, four in the morning. And uh, we'll get to the specifics on that and see if indeed that is true. And if it's going to play out here in West Michigan, Grand Rapids right now playing out with the sunshine. Yeah, ever since about two o'clock, I know it was in my uh, apartment in, there in downtown Grand Rapids looking out the window. And you can see on the skyline off to the north, uh, it went from, uh, you know, relative amount of cloudiness into just complete blue skies and boy, those blue skies settled in and they've been around for quite some time. A couple cumulus clouds did pop up out in the eastern horizon as we have warmed up a little bit, but not many. It's generally mostly sunny to just sunny. Now, a few clouds may tend to increase as the evening wears on to some degree, a minor degree. There's not going to be many out there as temps slip back into the mid 70s by 11 o'clock tonight. Bit of humidity too. We have felt today. Nothing overwhelming. I think overall will go up a notch with the humidity on the day Wednesday. It is going to be a dry day in terms of no rainfall. Yes, hum humid, so not completely dry in that sense, but uh, any rainfall holds off until about midnight or thereafter. That's when storms can come crashing in here. Now, how strong they will be remains to be seen, but uh, there is the potential for some gusty storms, perhaps some storms that could be capable of producing damaging wind gusts. We'll see about that. And then behind that weather disturbance, it does trend cooler Friday and beyond. So we hang on to this 87 degree high temp for tomorrow. A Max of 84 on Thursday, then dropping into the mid to upper 70s, I think, for Friday. Perhaps the spike I talked about yesterday back to 80 on Saturday. That'll be a brief little surge of humidity to some degree. Could spark a late day or evening shower or thunderstorm. I don't think severe, though. That system doesn't have enough oomph with it. But behind it, another blast of cooler weather. Again, by the standards of late July and early August. August 1st checking in on Sunday, by the way. So how about that opening up August with temps down in the mid-70s? Right now, though, we have made it into the mid-80s today. And out to the west, I mean, an oven has developed uh, well into the 90s to around 100 degrees. Uh, not just 100, but 107 in Pierce, South Dakota. That's where this uh, bulge of real heat has emerged on the scene and even warmer than out to the west, even though they are still hot. Look at Boise, Idaho at 99, Salt Lake City, 92, Vegas, uh, a cool 99, if you want to call it that. I mean, they can be in the middle uh, 100 teens this time of year, but uh, not quite there today. Heat advisories out to our west. Those will not be working in here. We've still got this influence out of Canada to some degree. Uh, as you saw with that temperature trend, that's going to be knocking us down in the days ahead. So that uh, predominant pattern of some uh, influence out of Canada looks like it's going to have a stranglehold on our forecast over the next week to two weeks, preventing any of the serious heat from coming in here and lasting for a long period of time. Dew points, yes, they do claw their way up to that oppressive level tomorrow, at least the threshold of oppressive, then drop back through later Thursday into Friday and Saturday. So that's something to look forward to as the actual mercury drops down into the 70s at that time. This visible satellite imagery revealing a lot of sunshine and minimal clouds at this point. I'm going to widen the scope. You don't see a whole lot going on, but I'll shift out to the west and some energy lifting northward out of Idaho into Montana. That'll be the weather system that does work its way in here later tomorrow night. Until then, it's quiet. Any green colors on the model, I think that's way overdone. Just a few clouds overnight tonight. Tomorrow, we're dry. Here's the model at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Still not much happening. Latest run of this RPM model does bring the showers and storms in here towards midnight and thereafter. Could be gusty winds, certainly very heavy rainfall, but it's out of here by 8, 9 o'clock Thursday morning. We'll get into sunshine during the afternoon, get back into the lower half of the 80s, but that's the last time in the 80s, I think, for quite some time. 70s thereafter into early next week. All right. Thank you, Anthony. Still to come tonight, an online game turned into.